the last 800,000 years, in fact, in the last 150, part, 150 years of that 800,000 years, we've gone from having a planet which is very much in balance, which is fairly comfortable, to just lately putting carbon dioxide and methane and nitrous oxide into the air at such an incredible rate, we're on our way to Venus. So that seems like a bad thing, right? And I'm not the only one that's noticed that, luckily. But it, has a, it is already having some big effects, and it's going to have more. Now, I don't want to scare you, but I do want you to understand a little bit about why this is important, because you're going to be the ones who are dealing with it. So heat waves. We're already getting more heat waves, and we're going to get more still. Hurricanes. Does anyone know what this hurricane is? Do you recognize it? <laughs> yeah? It could have been the Hurricane Sandy, and it's a very good guess, actually. It's actually the Hurricane Catriona. Not very famous, except the reason I put it in here is it's the first time a hurricane has ever hit South America, ever. And it's happened because the oceans are warming up. So there's hurricanes all over the world. There's also Hurricane Haiyan two years ago, which is the strongest hurricane that's ever hit anywhere. It had winds of almost 200 miles an hour. It killed 6,000 people. It displaced 11 million people. And it was the strongest until a couple of weeks ago when another one hit Mexico that was even stronger. So one of the things that's already happening is that hurricanes are hitting and they're getting stronger and stronger. There's still the same number of hurricanes around, but they're intensifying as we heat up the atmosphere and put all that extra energy in. And uh, thank you for saying Sandy, because this was the consequence of Hurricane Sandy. It's amazing. This is Lower Manhattan, uh, New York City. And you can see that parts of New York City got switched off for nine days. And in fact, I talked to a woman who was there at the time, and she said she actually had to walk up. It was about two miles to get to the place where the lights were on because she wanted to eat a burger, she wanted to drink some Coke, and she wanted to pretend she was back in the normal world. She said, I turned around and I looked, and on one side of the street there were lights, and there was America, and there was my city, and on the other side of the street there was a science fiction movie. It was Apocalypse. And that just happened recently, and that's what we can expect more of. Uh, very intense rainfall is another thing that comes from heating up the atmosphere and putting all this extra energy. Um, more, more disease. This lovely lady is a, is a, is a female mosquito because they're the ones that, that bite. Watch out for females. That's always what I say when I see this. Um, but also, because of the increasing temperatures, because of the increasing flooding, you've got more diseases. You've got more drought. You've got a reduction in food already. And you've also got, increasingly, the dangers of... Uh, migration. People who are actually uh, uh, have to leave their own homes because they don't have enough food there, they don't have enough water there, and they start moving. And we're already experiencing that uh, in, in horrible stories of, of children uh, trying to get across the Mediterranean into Europe to be able to survive. So um, all of those things are bad. And then there's a couple more. Uh, melting as Greenland, the Greenland ice sheet. Uh, Greenland has not as much ice as Antarctica, but still quite a lot, and it already seems to be melting. And we don't know how fast Antarctica, parts of Antarctica are melting. And there are forests, forests with frozen soil where the soil is melting, and it's giving out methane, another of those greenhouse gases. <laughs> 